So software process is a simple uh, checklist and model which tells who does, what does, when does and how it does. And the idea is that it's a roadmap or steps needed to go from changed or new requirements or observed need for software to go through software process and have new product. Okay, so uh, on this presentation I'm going to talk about the Rational Unified Process, which uh, is exactly that. Uh, because the Rational Unified Process is a software process model and it's also the most uh, definite model we are going to talk about on this course. So the idea with the Rational Unified Process is that it's a method of applying uh, unified modeling language notation, UML diagrams in software development. Uh, there's three central characteristics in rational unified process. First of all, it's iterative and incremental, meaning that we start with a high abstraction design and uh, gradually develop our product towards more mature system, adding new versions and more uh, more refined versions of different components and parts until we are satisfied with the product and can have the system tested, validated, verified and delivered. We also uh, have use case driven approach meaning that we collect the user requirements, define how the system is used and start our design from that concept. And the third characteristic is that we are architecture centric. We define what sort of system we want to build, what sort of components the system should have and what sort of software solutions we are going to use when building the software. So overall when we start doing development we have a plan on what sort of technical solution we are using, how the system is behaving and have an abstract version which describes the entire system before we commit to development. So basically the best practices applied in a rational unified process are as follows. Well, we do development iteratively and yes, we have frequent execute and we have frequent iterations and we constantly have a newest version which we can use. Uh, we also manage requirements and uh, we have visual modeling of the software. Of course, this is where the uh, UML comes in. We test throughout the life cycle so because we have a, a executable product uh, I meaning working product or working build existing almost throughout the implementation and we have high iterations so we can do testing while developing and of course we have uh, change control and procedures in place if we have to change requirements or do some uh, design work. Uh, we revisit our design to make changes in uh, modules. So overall the idea is uh, in phases. The inception phase we want to have the project scope, extent and business needs defined. Meaning that when uh, before anything is created we know that we will what sort of software we are do creating uh, is the project commercially feasible and is the project technologically feasible. In the elaboration phase the idea is that we do the more elaborate software architecture, have proof of concept prototypes done and know that the solution and the components we are going to use are actually something that will function together. The construction phase means that we build and test and verify and validate the software here by starting the most with the most abstract version, start to add components and abilities one by one, doing iterative and incremental development 
and testing while doing the next parts so that we have something that functions correctly. On the last phase in the transition we have product that is taken into use first possibly with only few customers and later with several. And the idea here is uh, is really focused on this picture. So in inception and in elaboration and construction and transition which more or less are high level of requirements gathering, design, construction and uh, development and testing and maintenance and launch. We have testing activities in all phases, we have implementation activities in almost all phases, we do design and we have analysis work in each design. Of course analysis and design are more focused on the early phases of the project project and the implementation is mostly done in construction but in all phases we are doing something for example implementation in inception phase may be something simple like creating a mock-up for a user interface to test if our customers will be able to even use the software whereas in the testing workflow we might come up with uh, testability plans or test scenarios which would be later taken into account when designing the test plan. So overall this workflow uh, happens in iterations. Within each uh, phase there's several iterations and but these things are discussed more in later parts.